What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we are going to be talking about how to beat Kingbrum. Now, a lot of you guys, and when I say a lot, like a lot of y'all have been requesting this video, asking how to do it, how do I beat Kingbrum, it, it's super OP, I can't stop it, yada yada yada. There are multiple ways to beat Kingbrum. You just gotta know what you're looking for. So, um, for us to talk about how to beat Kingbrum, we have to talk about Kingbrum. So, let's go ahead and go to the team real quick. Right? This is Kingbrum, if you guys don't know. Basically, uh, Halbrum King, and then Gother Merlin for just basically... Well, Gother's literally there just to enhance Kingbrum, uh, which would be Halbrum King. And then um, Merlin is basically there. Uh, she's just a really good fourth unit. She gives ult gauge. Whenever she comes in, perfect shield, take away ult. She's a really good unit, right? But anyways, Kingbrum. Consisting of double petrify... Double ult gauge takeaway, ult rank up, um, cleanse, heal, all of this. The reason why this team is so good or so oppressive is just because it, like, it, you basically can stop people from playing the game. And there's no other team in the game that can do that in the sense of, like, you can debuff people, but they can cleanse it. You can't cleanse Petrify. Well, if King's Petrified, you can't cleanse it. If King is debuffed by anything else in the game... That's not CC, he can cleanse it. And outside of a couple of different things, which we'll talk about. But um, y'all gotta understand, right? The reason why y'all are most likely losing to this team is because y'all think that Helbrum is the problem. Don't get me wrong, Helbrum is a very big problem in this team. But for you to beat this team, you have to shut down King. Um, I actually have a video. It was it was like my first help with King Broom video, where I almost lost because. Uh, the person I was playing against shut down my king, and I'm going to tell you exactly how um, he shut him down. The only reason why he lost is because he ran out of cards, and like he he misplayed like once or twice or whatever. But th that's just on him. But there's definitely ways that like you have to shut down king, right? Now you have to shut down king, but while shutting down king, you have to keep Helbrum in check, okay? And what I mean by that is, if you have any CC, it needs to go to king, has to. Because if it doesn't, he will cleanse. He will heal. Um, I might, I, I don't know. Like, here, let me see if I can find the video real quick. If I can. Well, I'll, I'll link it. I'll link it or something if I find it. But yeah, like, you you just, ha you have to basically shut down King and keep Helbrum in check. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a couple of units that do that very, very well. So starting out, we have Arthur. Arthur is... One of the best units to counter King Bro. And I know what a lot of you guys are going to say. You're going to be like, well, Dark Skin, um, if Arthur gets level 3 rank up, you don't even need level 3 rank up to beat this team. All right? If you, look at his kit, right? His first his first skill, right? His first skill inflicts damage 220% attack. At rank 2, it disables recovery skill, right? So for King, he literally can't heal. And it's like, I'm, I'm not entirely, I think he can use his first rank up. His first card, like cleanse, but he cannot heal if you put this on King, right? So literally, there's no healing going on on his team, number one, which enables you to kill King off entirely, which like, that that's the first step. You kill King, you're probably winning unless he like gets ults or something crazy. Uh, but anyways, not only does he have that, yes, he has rank ups as well. And at level three, it can take away debuffs and grant debuff immunity, but um i've seen arthur's beat me with just this skill right here just this skill because you got to realize with gother on the team of kingbrum you're going to be ranking up helbrum or king so if gother ranks up king and that becomes a level two heal and you hit him with this he can no longer use it period he can't use it um just very very good um that they put that on him i mean his passives whatever it's giving him stats but that's not the main point of you know beating the team but yeah like on top of using this, and then, like, e like even without, like, rank ups, even without getting, like, level 3, his level 3 rank up, let's talk about Galland, okay? Galland is a very good unit to beat King, bro. His passive, if his passive goes on King or Halbrum, they are basically useless. And the fact that he has type advantage to Halbrum is amazing, because Halbrum is going to be, like, your main damage dealer. Right? So you pair Galland with Arthur. 
they just become really, really good when it comes to Kingbrum. Not to mention, Gallon is going to be um, countering Gother entirely. Now, this is just one team that you can run. You don't have to run Arthur Galland. Uh, even if you look at Gother, right? Let's let's look at Gother real quick. Um, Gother can can beat Kingbrum because, like, King is King is free. If you have Gother, let's let's talk King Gother, right? Literally with Gother, you can rank up, right? Rank up King. With your King, you can petrify enemy King, and then with Gother, you can easily uh, attack seal. Helbrum can no longer use one of his cards. And if he doesn't have Petrify, he can't use that either. So that leaves King Petrified, and Helbrum can only use Petrification. And it's like, Petrify on its own does not work with Kingbrum. For Kingbrum to work, you have to have all the all the tools. Like, there's mo like you can beat Kingbrum without having, like, super busted units. And I know a lot of you are going to say, well, I don't have Gother, so what do I do? Um, King, Deanne, Merlin beats it perfectly fine. I've actually, I've actually been playing PvP with, like, if you look at my team, right? I've actually been playing PvP with this team here. I've been playing PvP with this team. I took Helbrum off. Because, I don't know, Deanne's just performing better for me. Um, and you can beat it perfectly with this team. Because Deanne has type advantage to Helbrum and Gother, and so does King. And it's like, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, well, I don't, you don't even have to use Gother. Like, if you want to switch this out, or if you want to put Guilt Thunder in the team, you can. De but Deanne King definitely do really, really well against Kingbrum. Uh, Jericho. Jericho is also one of those units. Literally, target King and just kill him. Just target King and you kill him. And, and what I mean by that is, you can easily rock, like, Jericho Arthur, Right? And you can basically weak point where well, you can use poison, then use weak point, and then Arthur disable recovery. So basically, King can cleanse himself, but King can no longer heal himself. That way, next turn, you just kill King. Right? Jericho is a really good unit for this team because she can one shot. And then, like, we have Death Pierce out now. If you have De Death Pierce on the team, you're probably one shotting King turn one. Um, another really good unit, Merlin. Her perfect barrier, a perfect cube. If they don't break this barrier, they will not petrify, which is a really good thing, right? If you don't break this barrier, you cannot CC or debuff someone. She also could take away ult gauge, which is going to be stopping their ult rush. Um, another low key unit no one talks about is Vivian. Vivian, um, she's actually pretty decent, right? Not only does she apply Ignite Stacks, which is going to give your team more damage, she can take away Stances, which is pretty nice. Um, but then, her second skill, Disables Ultimate Moves. Basically, she can stop people from ulting, which is really cool. Now, obviously, King can cleanse it, but outside of like outside of that, like that, that just depends on if he has a cleanse card or not. Um, just taking away Old Gage is pretty cool. I wouldn't recommend investing in her, but I mean, you know, if, if you just want options, there you go. Uh, one of the main units. Now, this is one of the main units that, like, completely destroys Kingbrum is Slater. Red SR Slater. If, if you guys don't know what this debuff is, he disables everything but attack and then decreases the attack-related stats of the enemy by one. So they cannot do anything except ta attack or ult. That's it. It says disable everything, but I'm pretty sure they can still ult. But yeah, they can only ult or use attack cards. So King cannot cleanse. King cannot heal. King cannot petrify. Hellbrum cannot petrify. They they can't do anything but use attack cards with this. This Slater, I, like, is amazing. I, like, I actually have him. I'm pretty sure I have him. Like, yeah. I have him. He's 60. Five star. And he's maxed out on his ultimate. Because not only is, he's, is he Gother's linking partner, he's just a really good unit. Actually, actually an amazing unit. Um, if you really want to beat Kingbrum that bad, I highly... Well, you should already be investing in him. because Like, he should already be built because you have Gother. But, like, if you really want to beat help, uh, like Kingbrum that bad, this unit is the unit for you. His, his ult hits like a truck. He, dis he can disable attack skills, 
and he can disable everything but like he's just a really good unit and his first card has life steal his left look 20 30 40 percent life steal on his first card this this guy is actually sleeper op for free to play so like if a lot of you guys are actually struggling with units or, and not even only king bro he counters everybody because like who there's not many units in the game that just attack not to mention he's reducing their attack related stats which is attack pierce rate crit damage crit chance really really good but i mean th there's multiple ways to get beat king bro the reason why i like this game is because you don't only you don't win if you just have the more busted team there is outplay there is teams that you can take to beat other teams right so like if you look at all these units look at the units you have um if you guys don't have like all the units this is a pretty good free to play team you can take this slater you can take king and then you can take a uh, blue dn something like i might actually make a video on it i might make a video on it tomorrow i don't know we'll see but yeah you can definitely take uh these units and beat people completely beat beat king bro um i don't know let me know in the comment section below if you guys want me to run that team dn king uh slater and uh see if i can find some king brum teams or whatever and see if i can beat them uh anyways also if you guys want to play blue stacks on your pc or play grand cross on your pc 60 frames no lag completely free there's a link in the description you can download blue stacks which is the emulator that i use you can download grand cross completely free and it helped me out a bunch if you do so if you did thank you and uh that's gonna be it for this video be sure to give it a like subscribe to the channel if you're new comment down below tell me you guys uh, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below with that being said I will see you guys next time. Peace.